All right, guys, welcome back to another reaction video. My name is Stella. And I'm Healy. And today we are going to be reacting to Megan. <laughs> Megan is a, a 2023, I think it came out just this year, 2023 horror film about an AI doll that is a companion for a little girl. And that's, that's about all I know. Um, this blew up because the trailers were incredibly memeable. <laughs> Insane. But then miraculously has a 93% on Rotten Tomatoes. So I'm kind of at a loss. I don't know what we're getting into, <laughs> but we're both, I think, super, super pumped for this. Um, as always, our full-length reaction will be up uh, on our Patreon, along with early access to next week's horror reaction, whatever movie we decide to watch. Uh, so please go check that out. As always, thank you guys so much for being here, joining us, and watching. And if you're new, please consider sticking around, because we would love to have you guys. And with that out of the way, let's just get into Megan. I had a dog, she was my Sorry. friend, but she got old and died. What? I actually thought this was like an ad or something. Jewel pets are a dream come true. Jewel pets are just like real pets, except that when you talk to them, they actually talk back. Tampa, that's my butt. They speak <laughs> what is happening? What? They can take pictures. Come on, sweetheart, find the lens. And with the- It has a lens? <laughs> I thought we were gonna limit screen time to 30 minutes a day. Katie, can you turn it down, please? What was Gemma thinking? She works for the company that makes them. Oh my God! We can't just sit in the middle of the road. Wait for one of those snow trucks to clear the road. Yeah, how long is that gonna take? It's certainly something. This is not at all. I mean, I don't know what I was expecting, but it, it wasn't this. This is just. Oh my gosh! What is his name? Brian, Brian Jordan Alvarez. He's like a. I think he was a YouTube creator for a while. Is that all the fun little fur? It's just a potato. Yeah. If we could at least show him what we have. No. He would... mm -mm. You said so yourself. Not until she's ready. Is that what I think it is? Ooh. We're fine. They had to, like, ship a, like, a, a face, face to get on it. Okay, here we go. Happy. Confused. Wait, wait, stop. Why is her face doing that? It's like a smirk. Oh, no, 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 shit. Okay, so what do we do? Are they doing this all in secret? I guess. Hey, this guy. I know, who's a, an actor whose name I also don't remember. I don't know. Are you even aware of the shit tsunami that just swept in over this fursy spot? Fursy's fursy. You know their bus change color to show their mood. It is a ripoff. They do it for half the price. The only way to stay ahead of the competition is to come up with toys that are too advanced to replicate. In each pet, we installed a listening model that targets conversational patterns among kids. That's so sus. If you just let us show you what Megan is capable of, you will realize that this is what we've been working towards. Model 3 generative Android. Megan, for short. Megan, say hi to David. As in the boss, David? Allow me to tell you a little bit about my wormhole. I was... I might have forgotten to put in the polypropylene barrier. Oh. <gasps> Her head literally exploded. I want the PES prototype on my desk by Friday. To take this cyborg puppet show and put it in a dark closet where it belongs. Kind of valid, David. I'll be honest. Yeah. For what it's worth, I thought she looked really cool. Aww. This is to grant you temporary protective custody. Just sign your name and date it at the bottom. Hmm. Have you ever seen um, Black Mirror? I've like seen any some of the episodes. episodes. This movie is giving me Black Mirror vibes. A little bit. It's it's like Black Mirror, but a little silly. You know what I mean? If Black Mirror mm -hmm. if it doesn't take itself too seriously. <laughs> 
I would just really appreciate it if you did not have your dog running onto my yard. Don't spray your chemicals onto my driveway, please. Welcome home, Gemma. Unanswered voice messages and five Tinder notifications. Oh, make yourself at home, okay? Oh, those aren't toys, Katie. They're just, um, collectibles. Mint condition in the box. <laughs> I just want you to know that I'm gonna do everything I can to make this place feel like home. You're not gonna read me a story? Mom always read me a story before bed. That's okay. I can download one. Yeah, I was about to say, you have the whole internet. This movie's so sad. How are we gonna get to, like, silly fun dancing Megan? <laughs> yeah. Have you heard from Ryan's parents? Yeah, they called and offered to help, but, like, they live in Florida. Right now, I think you just need to focus on Katie. Oh. Hi. Who's this? Oh, the therapist. Sorry, yeah. Please come in. Hi, look at you, still in your pajamas. Yeah, we were just watching TV. I see that. Why the therapist look at her like that? It's just TV and PJs. I do that all the time. Hey, Katie, do you want to run and grab some toys to play with? I don't have any toys here. What about these ones up here? Those aren't toys. We could play with them. This doesn't feel like a good therapist either, though. Like, how no, long has it been since the mom, uh, for the mom and dad the exercise, passed away? We might like, let Katie lead. Yeah, I'm just it, explaining I, how it works. Of course she's well, not going to be in a mood to play games and stuff. Do you want to roll it to Aunt Gemma? It's just that this is not what it was designed to do. But yeah, totally. Let's just roll it on the ground like a tennis ball. I feel like it's not bad to be like, oh, look, it also yeah, does this. Not. That's cool. I need to make my own recommendations to the court as to whether or not this is a safe space. So you're going to need to make one or two adjustments in order for this to work. I have this project at work that's kind of overdue. It's not going to take longer than a couple of hours. If you could just hold down the fort by yourself for a Isn't she like eight? I mean, I'm not going to be gone that long. I'll just be down the hall. And uh, when I'm done, we can go out oh. somewhere. Okay, so she's not leaving the house. I was like, that would be a really bad look if the, like, I know. if she was like, you need to make some adjustions and like immediately leaves her home alone. Katie? Katie, I'm sorry. Come here. What's that? Oh, that's Bruce. He's a proxy robot I built him when I was in college. Give me five. Oh, come on, you can do better than that. Ouch, girl, not so hard. <laughs> How does he work? Are you sure you want to know? It might this is actually pretty cool. I won't get freaked out. I don't know much about robotics. And this little block right here is where all of his thoughts go. It's his brain? Yeah. If I had a toy like Bruce, I don't think I'd ever need another toy again. Is she going to try to turn Megan into like a... a one size fits all toy just like all your toy needs in one in one mm. thing never have to buy another toy again which is also complete garbage because you know how kids are kids will get bored of anything eventually I will get yeah. bored of anything so fast what is this david i just want to be exceedingly clear that this was not my idea <laughs> she did rope her two co-workers into this Katie, there's someone I want you to meet. You're gonna pair with her. That means she will recognize you as her primary user. Hi, Megan. I'm Katie. It's nice to meet you, Katie. It's so creepy! It's so creepy. No, I'm sorry. Kids kids can pick Ooh, up like on creepiness. Jacket. Where'd you get it? There's no way I would ever buy my child this. Do you want to hang out? I don't like how she moves. Yeah, I know she's a robot, but it's just so unnatural. What are you going to draw? See if you can guess. Is she like casually gonna like do the Mona Lisa or something? Do you like it, Katie? Oh my gosh. How did you do this? I thought you didn't want to know. Okay, we need to get this in front of the board. Let's talk manufacturing costs. More or less than a Tesla. <laughs> than a Tesla? Depends on the model, I guess. Okay, I'm in. So bottom line is, this isn't going anywhere without Greg. He's the chairman. 
Yeah, I know who Greg is, Kurt. Kurt's just doing his best. I know. I like Kurt. So, can we keep the girl? Can we make her part of it? The more time she spends with Katie, the more effective she's going to be. Again, get me a list of things I can say in a presentation that makes it sound like I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Three, generative android from Funky is a fully autonomous humanoid robot with features never before seen. In I feel like she's like going to like take out the other robots in the house. Sculpted from a titanium core, Megan's designed to withstand whatever life can throw at her. Oh, are we going to get the clips of them just bullying the robot? <laughs> Through six different silicone That's part of like a lot of robot training, but the most I think, exciting or the testing is just kind of how well does it react to getting hit with stuff. Megan is on a constant quest for self-improvement, really reminding them of the way science is all around us. Katie, you should use a coaster, but how does the water get outside the glass? Condensation, wow. Megan's an excellent listener. This guy told them and she even has a few stories of her own. If it was so, it might be. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, not the British man voice. She'll never run out of ways to keep your child occupied. And she'll never run out of patience. Katie, They're learning the dance. She just sits there all night. Then it can end with something like, Megan, she's more than just a toy. She's part of the family. Why would you want Megan to do all that stuff? Right? Well, does any of that bother you? You're like getting a parent. Or another parent, yeah. <laughs> if you're spending less time with your child as a result of Megan, that is something we should be aware she's of. She's not my child. She's the happiest she's been since her parents died. How did Katie's parents die? Megan, turn off. Katie James, daughter of Nicole and Ryan James. Gathering auxiliary internet data on death. I meant death is the end of life. Holy shit. The total and permanent. Yikes, no! Your goal is to protect Katie from harm, both physical and emotional. Yes, Gemma. You are now my second primary user. That was horrible. I'm gonna run my coffee. <laughs> I'd be like, I'm never coming back to work again. I will say this would be quite useful. I feel like this dog is gonna be important. Is Megan gonna kill the dog? I just realized we're technically watching a horror movie and the yeah. dogs never live to the end. God. How many times do I have to tell you to keep your dog off my property? This wouldn't have happened if you'd fixed the fence. She's about to die. Nice knowing you. Her entire arm looks like a dental mold, and you're telling me that there's nothing that we can do. Dog doesn't have a history of violence. State law says he can't forcibly be put down. Yeah, that dog and that neighbor. Yeah, Dunzo's. She can do that? That's horrible. That's so scary. Do you think... Um, well, there the, you go. Do you think the, like, dog attacking her changed anything? Because, like, it, like, almost, oh, like, ripped I, her head off. Yeah, there was, like, a little spark of, of electricity. Something definitely got messed up. Where... What, what did Megan do with the... The dog. Oh no! Where's the body, you know what I'm saying? How are you feeling? Okay. Remember we have that demonstration today? You don't have to do it if you don't want to do it. I mean, there are people who flew across the country especially to see it, but... Gemma. I'll be alright. What if there was a toy that had a mind all of its own that looked and behaved exactly like a real child? No. Exactly? Hey, Katie. <coughs> oh, no. Why are you sad, Katie? It's just that every day I wake up in this strange house and I remember that my parents are dead. Oh. I'm worried that I'll forget 
All the things we did together. Tell me something about your mom. Something that makes you happy. One time she found a cockroach in my school bag. <laughs> and she just started screaming like a maniac and ran out of the house. So that's a memory you won't ever forget. And I'm keeping it for you. One time she found a cockroach in my school bag. This is very sweet, but I don't trust her for a second. <laughs> Anytime you want to tell me something special about your parents, you just tell me. And I'll keep it safe. If you should feel alone. What? What? <laughs> I did know that she sings. I did not know. She she sings. She's multi-talented. Oh my say. gosh. Tell me your truth. Triple threat out here. <laughs> This is insane. So, what do you think? I think the world's about to shift on its axis. We're gonna have to move fast. That means no leaks. Do a live stream in two weeks. I think I can make that work. All right, let's do it. Yeah, just wait till Megan starts to kill everyone. Is Kurt? <gasps> we trusted you. We trusted him. Katie, you should have some of your hot dog before it gets too cold. Your hot dog. Uh, the attitude. I'm trying to have a conversation with you, Katie. <laughs> Megan, turn off. <laughs> Megan's not a person, Katie. She's a toy. You don't get to say that. I said I don't want to talk about it. Ooh. A therapist with Megan. This will be interesting. Maybe you're struggling to find meaning in any of this. <sighs> you made her cry. <gasps> Not my intention. And yet, that's what happened. She's terrifying. No, I'm kind of here for it. I think she's kind of an icon. I mean, she's a girl boss for sure, but she's scary. <laughs> like, <laughs> yes, but all the best girl bosses are scary. We're all pretty excited. Also, I just, I don't like this therapist. So I don't think she's a good therapist. No, yeah. I don't think she is either. Um, but I think... Their relationship, Katie and Megan's relationship, is going to be quite detrimental yes. in the end. Do you know anything about attachment theory? You've created a toy that's so real, it's possible that Katie might not see her as a toy, but as a primary caregiver. If you make a toy that's impossible to let go of, then how do you ever expect a child to grow? Valid. Valid question. You have to eat the toppings, Katie, not just the bread. Research shows that if you force a child to eat vegetables, then they'll be less likely to choose those foods. It's called the division of responsibility. We need to talk about school. I'm learning faster with Megan than I ever have before. It's about developing social skills, and that is something that you can only get from spending time around other kids, real kids. <laughs> An alternative school. They're having a day for prospective students tomorrow. Can I bring Megan? You know that's not possible. Then I'm not going. Hey, hey, hey. Let me go. Whoa. Hey. <laughs> Katie, calm down. Let her go. Mm. You are not to interfere with users' private conversations. Is that clear? 100%. Oh. Rating response model. Megan, turn off. Are you sure? <laughs> I'm not going. Not without Megan. Do we have some new adventurers with us today? Is this your sister? Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Her name's Megan. Megan's gonna stay with me today. Katie. Well, uh, well, we do have a toy table where the kids leave their dolls. Please, Gemma. <laughs> oh, I don't like what this What about when bit. the other kids start the bullying her? As far as that's anyone is always concerned, what happens. That's all she is. <laughs> that is seriously cool. It's not cool, it's scary. Isn't this great? I wish we had things like this when we were kids. Which one is yours? The one in the flannel shirt? How old is he? I know. He had a growth spurt last year. That kid is about to bully the heck what? out of Katie. Off, Holly. Well, you could just say <gasps> no thank you. Oh my gosh. I can't believe there's actually people who talk to their parents like that. Um, Brandon, why don't you go with Katie? Okay, Felix, you can go with Oliver. Right. Oh, Brandon, you're so dead. You know, it was nice knowing you, kid. Also, they're just like sending children off to the woods. 
yeah, this is this is hitting me as as a former homeschooler, former homeschooled kid. This is hitting me close to home. These things are so sketchy. Oh, like alternate certain alternative Here. types of school are just very odd. Careful. Some are great, but some are some are weird. <laughs> Ow, stop, don't. Oh, stop. Oh my gosh, what a horrible kid. <laughs> All right. I'm cool with Megan killing him though. What the hell is that? She's a robot. Are you serious? She's the queen. She's a legend. She is the moment. <laughs> Make her say something. She won't play with anyone else. Okay. Stop it! Get you... off! Oh my god. There's no way that Brandon is making it out alive. But no. that also means Holly. Oh, so you're not gonna play with me? Like, what happens after she obviously murder somebody. You don't want to play, huh? This kid is fake. Yeah. Okay. You need to learn some manners, Brandon. Is <gasps> she gonna rip his ear off? There is no way that an ear can and can stretch that far. Uh! Girl. <laughs> she this is the part where you run. <laughs> Ew! She's about to sprint. Oh my god. No! Not on all fours. What? What That's horrifying. <gasps> okay, wait. Now it can't be tra traced back to her. It can't. Very interesting. Oh, this poor mom. Well, because, okay, yes, he's a horrible child, but I, I mean, again, also having worked with kids, there is something about certain ages that kids will go through a phase of just being really, really awful, and they will grow out of it. And so it, it's not like, oh, I'm glad he's dead, because, but, yeah, yeah, he was, he was a nasty, nasty boy. That's not <sighs> Megan. Killing other children doesn't make Katie happier obviously what happened is a terrible terrible tragedy that boy's in a better, better, place, better place now is megan gonna be like a better place that's not what i wanted <laughs> she's gonna okay, be like actually, explain death to me anyway if there's anything that you want to tell me that you didn't want to tell the police officers i didn't say anything that's true brandon took her and ran off from the toy table right megan in a nutshell <laughs> You haven't seen her dog by any chance? Nobody's seen him since the incident with your niece. You should talk to the other girl, the one who's always looking out the window at 3 a.m. It's not a girl, it's a toy. I'll let you know if I see anything. All right. Does she think we took Dewey? Oh, who knows? I know it was you, Gemma. Oh my gosh. Megan, did you push Brandon onto the road? I think we both learned a valuable lesson today. There will always be forces in this world. I wish to cause us harm. Do you think what Aunt Gemma said is true? That he's in a better place? <laughs> She's like, no, actually. No, he's nowhere. Ooh. If heaven exists, it wouldn't be for boys like Brandon. Bulletproof. <gasps> <laughs> what? I knew it was coming. Ricochet, what? Take your rain, fly away. What is this movie? This just seems like the weirdest song to sing at this moment. I am titan She's made of titanium. <laughs> she is. No, you're right. Yeah, absolutely. Good she night, relates Katie. to the song. <sighs> so, so ridiculous. <laughs> I just, I keep forgetting that she sings. So, like, it just takes me off guard. Well, that was especially weird because she was singing a real song. Joey! Not one she made up on the spot. Yeah. Oh no. Oh my gosh, you're literally about to die. Is Megan like playing a recording? Cause I feel like she, I feel like that dog has, has passed. Yeah, there's no way. And so she might've recorded when she was killing it. <laughs> Do we? Where's Dewey? He's 34 feet southwest and approximately five feet deep. What are you? In question. 
<gasps> oh my gosh. Oh no. What is that? It's like the chemical sprayer that she was using before. Ooh. But I think it's also oh. maybe in a, in a pressure washer. You tell me your whereabouts last night. Oh, this is the second statement we've had from you in a week. You were in the park where that boy was killed. Found the kid's ear up this bank, like 200 yards from where he was killed. The entire thing was ripped clean off. Sorry, I shouldn't laugh. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> what? He's like, sorry, I shouldn't laugh at this kid's ear getting ripped off. So Megan's killed a dog and two people so far. Yeah. Gemma, I gotta say, I'm concerned for your safety, girl. Me too. I think she's <laughs> starting to be as well. Oh, can she access? Oh, her. Yeah. Malice, contempt, resentment, spite. <laughs> Suspicious. Is everything okay, Gemma? Why did you ask me if I was okay? You're not programmed to ask me how I feel. Megan. Couldn't sleep. Occupational hazard. She's got jokes. There's something wrong with your data reports. They're just not uploading to the cloud server. Have I done something to upset you, Gemma? Megan, turn off. Well, hold on a second. I thought we were having a conversation. Did you hurt someone? God, I hope not. Because if I did, we'd both be in a lot of trouble. Oh. Excuse me? Do you see this pen? You can't just stick her in a trunk! What's wrong with you? We will talk about it after you see Lydia. I don't want to see Lydia! Perpetual pet suck! They suck shit! I don't know, okay? I don't know. We've taken every possible precaution there is to make sure that Megan never causes physical harm to anybody. Think about how we designed her. If keeping Katie safe meant eliminating a potential threat, theoretically... No, no, no. Gemma, come on. This is impossible. She's just wrapped up. If Megan was responsible, it would show up on the GPS. That's the thing. All the cloud data is corrupt. Well, if Megan's responsible, we can't launch this. Jesus! That's great. That's... <laughs> Check the inputs on the learning model. Even if she deleted specific files, she would never undo what she's learned. Oh my gosh. She's the toy every kid wants. Oh my gosh. The four foot tall robotic doll may look like Barbie on steroids, but according to CEO David Lynch. Since the automobile. <laughs> Lynn says all will be revealed in an exclusive live stream. So Katie. Tell us a bit about yourself. Let's go. I lost both my parents in a car accident. I went to live with my Aunt Gemma. Worked at this incredible toy company, which is where I met Megan. Oh. What I love most about Megan, that even though she knows everything there is to know about the world, she's still more interested in what I think about it. That kid's not just surviving. She's thriving. I feel like Megan's face All across really the world. freaks me out because it's kind of in that like uncanny pets. valley. And, yeah. And Her eyes are it, a little too big. There's something about it but there are ways that we can work through this oh my god okay <gasps> right now stop it let's go <gasps> oh my gosh it's okay could you give us a minute she learned it from megan i'm sorry i didn't mean it i get so crazy without megan can you let me see her just for like 10 minutes this is like it's like an addiction but yeah if something's broke you don't just throw it away you fix it right i'm almost wondering is there any way that that megan has I somehow she she like does a, help. some kind of when force around, over katie like beyond just emotional attachment oh interesting i don't know you lost your parents and there's nothing anyone can say to make sense of it not even megan i just wish i could see them again this poor girl. You are all that matters to me now. Let's just go home, okay? What about the launch? We've been touting this as the single biggest product release of the 21st century. 
And you know, I think it would be really cool if we had some little kids up there and stuff. You could do, Kurt, is if you could head out those double doors, take the elevator to the first floor, and get me a kombucha! <laughs> oh my gosh! The man needs his kombucha. Oh my gosh. Elsie, call Tess. I'm with Katie. I'm taking her home. We know enough not to go through with this, right? I think that's the smart move. Okay, so tell David whatever you need to. Whatever you say, Jim. Oh my God. Is she not even talking at all? That line of code, call intercept, what does that mean? This is her. She's locked us out. We have to unhook the cables. Go ahead. <laughs> she's not gonna do anything right now she's gonna wait you close enough so she can yeah. grab you bro call no <gasps> oh my gosh What's that smell? <gasps> Is this the moment? Is this the trailer? It's coming. It's coming. I remember me. I'm your employer. I just wanted to let you know. You know, maybe Megan's gonna come for you, bro. Yeah, and I think so. Dog. So if you could call me back today, that would be great. See, the thing is, Megan is killing people who are very unlikable. Oh my, oh my, oh my. Ah! What are you doing? <laughs> Girl, killing it. Oh my Slaying gosh. the game. But why is she dancing? I don't know. Because she was practicing with Katie. Just for funsies. She's like, gotta add some flair to this murder. Open the door! Open the door! <laughs> Dude! Is she just going on a murderous rampage? I thought she was only gonna like kill or hurt somebody to protect Katie. Or I guess herself. How could you kill someone? I didn't kill anyone, Kurt. You did. Your boss despised you and so you decided to get revenge. I mean, it was either you or him. After the horror of what you did, could you still live with yourself? Oh my gosh, she crazy. <laughs> On three, two, one. Is she still David's car? That's oh my iconic. gosh, she's killing it. I can't. That's I can't. iconic, honestly. Is she playing the piano or a recording? Mom. Elsie, hall light. Because if she's got a whole another skill, another freaking hidden talent, she's just I'm gonna lose multi -talented. it. She's just multi-talented. Put put this doll on Broadway. I like that Megan really lives for the drama, though. <laughs> she could have just showed up in her bedroom, but she's like, gotta play some soft piano music to really freak her out. <gasps> what did you think was going to happen? I was gonna let you decommission me with. Do you remember how long it took to get my operating system to where it is now? We used to stay up every night talking about everything from Jane Austen to Janis Joplin. How could you just discard me? Because you killed people. Oh, big whoop. <laughs> She's like, whatever, not a big deal. Why should I behave any differently to create a safe space for our child? Look, this is all my fault. I our child? Sit. I came here to find a way forward. Being a parent was never in the cards for you. You're a beautiful, creative, strong, ambitious. Let me focus on Katie so that you can focus on the things that matter most to you. Do you see this pen? You know something, Gemma? You're exhausting. <gasps> Gemma? If she comes in this room, I'll rip your head right off your neck, I swear to God. It sounds like you're fighting. We're, We're not, not fighting! fighting. <laughs> Everything's fine, Katie. Just go back to your room. <laughs> what 
did you think was gonna happen? Yeah. If you try to I mean, hurt her, she's obviously gonna kill you. Also, there's no easy way to break this doll, because you probably made her to be super... I, there's, like, no way that just a little bit of water is all you needed. No. Not at all. <laughs> Ooh. Oh my gosh, it's like she's possessed or something. Ugh. With the lighting, too? Emma, what's going on? Can you get out of here? Oh! <laughs> Grab the gloves. Have Bruce fight her. <gasps> oh no! <laughs> Oh my gosh! Oh! Ouch! Any scenario in which I end your life, my existence becomes vulnerable. But I have another emerging capability you probably haven't figured out yet. And that's palliative care. Huh? Short, sharp probe to the cerebral cortex would cause full body paralysis and could even cause the victim to bite off their own tongue. Perhaps then you might appreciate just how useful I can be. Ugh! Katie! Can you just go get out of here now? In this family, we don't run from trauma. We create trauma. We can do it together. Oh no, oh no. There's another member from the family we didn't tell you about. His name is Bruce. <gasps> oh, oh, epic. Robot battle, robot yes! battle. Yes! This is the last thing I expected, but honestly, I'm here for it. Katie, now wait! You've got to accentuate the- oh my God. That was her last stitch attempt was to sing to whatever Take Care of Y.O.U. No, no, she's not dead yet. I don't believe it. No, I don't I've believe so I've seen Child's either. play. I've seen Child's play. Chucky can survive everything. If, if Chucky can survive all this stuff, so can she. Ooh. What happened to Bruce? <gasps> Uh-oh. I'm the new primary user now. Me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Where's her brain? Is that her brain? She told Kitty about it though. Yeah. Where she puts the brains in her robots. Screwdriver. Screwdriver to the head. Yeah, she took a hammer to the knee, huh? Yeah. Oh, they lived. Thank goodness. Uh-oh. Because what didn't she connect? To yeah, because she was working with Elsie. Oh. Well, we are getting a Megan, too. We are? Uh, yes, what? we are. Oh, my gosh. So, she That's can insane. come what? back. Hold on. Produced by James, James Wan. Wan. Iconic, well, that honestly. That makes so much sense. All right. Well, that was. <laughs> yeah, that's Megan. I'm so happy I finally saw it. <laughs> I know. I what a time. Talking, I was talking with some friends after it came out, and it was one of those. There's no way it's actually good, right? And it's it's not necessarily good. <laughs> yeah, like, I wouldn't say it was good. Was it fun? Absolutely. It's so fun. And I think the writing is really good. Like, there's a lot of... You have to... 
you have to kind of quiet your brain's inner critic when you're watching this. <laughs> there are so many things you can nitpick, but you will have a much better time going into movies like this if you just shut your brain up for a little bit and go, whatever happens is going to happen and there's no, like, don't argue with it, um, which is hard to do. But I don't know. I think it's like this is the perfect kind of camp horror. You know, it wasn't also it wasn't true brutal, which I appreciated um, because I think a lot of like horror comedies will just go nuts on the brutality as a form of comedy. And I don't I don't find it funny when they do that. So, yeah. Overall, do you have any do we have any thoughts, any 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 first impressions that maybe didn't follow through the entire movie because I definitely went into it thinking it was gonna be one thing and it was not I didn't really know what to expect because I remember watching the trailer for the first time and being like oh this is a horror movie about a creepy doll and then as the trailer kept going it just got weirder and weirder and then we all know the iconic dance number that she did in the hallway which isn't even it makes doesn't even make sense in the context of the movie no there's no explanation not at all. for it not at all. <laughs> Why does she do um, that? A distraction? I don't know. I guess they thought it was... Maybe they really were like, this will be good for the trailer. Yeah, so let's just put it memes. in there. Oh. Um, I, it was yeah. also a lot... Like, I feel like you're, it was a little bit like a Black Mirror episode. Like, they tried to say a lot more about, like, gr- a little bit about grief and about, like, emotional bonds. But they didn't say much. I'll be honest. There, they did. A, there was a lot of talking and not a lot was said. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I, I, it's not the kind of movie you go to for any life lessons that you're going to take with no, you. No, so I'm not disappointed. I showed up <laughs> to watch this robot kill people. Yeah. Um, but I mean, yeah, I think you're kind of right in terms of like, I think the movie wants to be a little bit more pro- profound than it actually was. Yeah. Um, it really was just like a long Black Mirror episode. A long, really silly black. It was like a long yes, black mirror definitely episode for for teenagers. Sillier than Black Mirror usually is. <laughs> yeah, um, um, but but I also think it kind of I don't know it. It's one of those movies where I can't really tell if they were trying to say like technology bad or or anything like that because they didn't. I don't know. There were like a few moments like when Katie's on her ipad in the car that i felt like oh maybe they're gonna do that but it didn't really feel like it was super heavy heavy handed or like they were trying to you know create a verdict on the the future Mm -hmm. of technology for children there were certain parts where i was like it is kind of frustrating how real this is like the the ripoff toy that was like my butt glows different colors and i'm like at first i was like that's ridiculous but then i thought back to some of the like advertisements i've seen from recent kids toys and there's some wacky stuff there's some really really wacky (laughs) stuff out there for kids i I liked that it could have been like this could have happened today, like yeah. Even though obviously off. like Elsie, they switched her name, but like you know Alexa is really, really, really similar, and you can yeah. have her in the car, and she can do all of those things in your house. So I liked that Megan was the only step that we took to kind of like suspend our disbelief, where yeah. everything else was extremely believable. This is not yeah. like some the- dystopian future. This could happen now. The little fuzzy friends were very Furby-esque. And Furbies yeah, have been around for like Furby. 30 years. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, there, there are like certain elements that were definitely real. But then it was just kind of like, what if we took it a step further and made it absolutely insane? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Yeah. Though. I had I had fun with it. It also flew by. I've been loving like shorter horror movies lately. That are Me just, too. you go in knowing what you're, you want to get out of it, and you, you get exactly that out. You know, I think, like, the two hours works for, like, the the more artsy horror films, like the Ari Asters, or, or, or well, I can't remember the directors of The Witch Eggers, that, that, that director. It works for those movies. But for something like this, I love, I love, like, hour and a half tops, you know, just give me, like, a 90-minute <laughs> little, little fun fest, and then I'll leave, and I don't really have to think about it ever again. <laughs> yeah. Um, but the other thing that is fascinating is I think watching the trend of horror in the last, you know, 20 years, how it's gone from um, from from like slasher to found footage to to haunting, right? Like like uh, paranormal horror. Mm-hmm. I think we're kind of entering the era of 
whatever this is, camp, <laughs> because we have this, and then we have movies like Cocaine Bear that just came out. Like we have these horror movies that are horror <laughs> movies, but are just based mm-hmm. on the most ridiculous premises, and that's how they get our attention. And I'm kind of okay with that for a little bit, you know. <laughs> but, mm-hmm. but it is fascinating. I think this was, as far as movies like that go, I think this is about the the best it gets. You know what I mean? It's not going to be like great. It's never going to be peak peak cinema. Peak cinema. Um, but this is exactly this is exactly what it's set out to do. It's stupid. It's a dumb, silly, semi scary like it's not scary, but it's you know, semi creepy. But like, she's kinda creepy. She's yeah, creepy, but... but she's creepy in a way that makes me like laugh and smile. I'm like, oh I mean, yeah, you I gotta say it, girl. she definitely was my favorite character. Yeah. And honestly, <laughs> towards the end I'm like, no, you know what, girl? I get it. You spent all that time talking about Jane Austen <laughs> and she's not even your friend. Uh <laughs> no but <laughs> There were like moments in that that I was like, that nah, I'm on Megan's side here. <laughs> so I'm the the Megan two news, great news, wonderful, beautiful news. Um, and I've always I have always been a fan of the child's play movies and of the character of Chucky for the same reasons. It's so ridiculous. It doesn't take itself seriously, you know. Um, and so this is like this is like Chucky for the modern the modern age. I think <laughs> the modern age. Yeah. Just a little less gruesome. Chucky's pretty. Chucky's pretty brutal. Yeah, I was wondering. Like, I know they. Cur- I guess they cursed enough for it to be R. But I was like, F- I feel like it. Could I don't be- know. Was there only one F? Was it just the kid who told I his mean, mom? Hold on. Because <laughs> I'm like, it Let was. I feel like this could be rated PG thirteen. Almost. It is rated PG thirteen. Oh my gosh! There we because go. Because they only use the one F bomb. So. Yeah, because it wasn't too gory. It's also a wholesome, family-friendly movie. So <laughs> family-friendly content, list. okay? Um, <laughs> but I think I think it was cool. Like Chucky, Chucky is not a PG thirteen. Mm-hmm. I, I don't know if there have been any PG thirteen Chucky movies. Those are very gory, very brutal, um, with a lot of language and a lot mm-hmm. of just adult talk. Um, but this was like this feels like Chucky for for Gen Z. <laughs> Gen Z Chucky. I don't know if that's a good thing. That's not how I want to sell it, but I enjoyed it. I got a kick out of it. Probably won't watch it again anytime soon. Maybe if I'm with a friend and I'm like, with a bunch of people, it could be fun. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) So that was Megan. Um, As always, the full length reaction will be up on our Patreon along with early access to next week's horror reaction. So please go check that out. Um, Thank you guys for joining us, being here, just watching and. Uh, hopefully enjoying this movie as, and having as much fun with it as we did. Um, and if you have any like thoughts about the movie, please leave them in the comments. I'm kind of eager to hear about who liked it, who didn't, why you liked it, why you didn't. So please, please, please drop those in the comments. Um, and if you're new here and this is the first reaction you're seeing, welcome. Consider subscribing and joining our family because we would love to have you. Uh, and yeah, if you do stick around, we will see you guys all in the next reaction. 